How do we change stigmas? How do we break them? How do we make a difference? There have to be women in the cannabis industry. Fearless women. Women who can pivot. Women who can change at a moment's notice. And that's in our DNA. It's important to have data about women's experiences in cannabis because we need to have an understanding of the baseline of how women are experiencing working in this industry. Because once we have a baseline, then we can figure out what we need to do to make this a more inclusive industry. I think that the cannabis industry in general wants something different. Data is important because that's science. So in terms of what changes behavior, what um, motivates change is science. There's lots of anecdotes about how well cannabis works and how women feel about working in this industry, but until we write it down, until we study it in an academically rigorous way, we don't have the full picture. When I was producing the Mary Jane's documentary, I heard that 36% of senior leadership in the cannabis industry was women. You know, in 2015, that was the statistic that we all knew. And as I dug into it, I realized, is that the right number? Are we talking to all the women? Are we just talking to some of the women who are in our circles? following academically rigorous ways of constructing surveys and using actual quantitative research methodology so that we know that the questions have validity um, and reliability. Having a study that can say these are the statistics, these are the trends, this is what we're seeing in women's experience in the cannabis industry is going to be so so impactful, so important, and it's so timely. I think we want to have this conversation right now. I think once we have these long conversations that we need to have about social equity and serving the veteran communities, the women communities, the LGBTQ communities. The doors are wide open, I feel. There's so much potential there. It's not just about minorities, it's about all of these underserved groups coming together. This is a study that is really groundbreaking and has the opportunity to create change. It has to come down to an individual level and it has to come down to the leadership of every company and every organization in the cannabis industry. It's important for us to plot the course for how we can make this industry feel welcoming for everyone and then as we measure along the way, we can course correct.